I received this question. Robert is asking, what is the meaning of the word Christianity? How and when did it come about? So I did my little research. I, find, I found out some things that resonated with me, others, others did not. And uh, allow me to begin this video like this. Here's what I got. It says Cretan from French, Cretan from Alpine dialect, Cretan, which means a dwarf and deformed idiot <laughs> of a type formerly found in families in the Alpine lands, a condition caused by a congenital deficiency of thyroid hormones mm. from vulgar Latin Christianus a Christian a generic term for anyone but often with a sense of poor fellow so that's what the word so what what really weighed on me in this video is that vulgar Latin because Think about it. Where the, does Latin come from? Latin comes from the Romans, or let's say the you know that church, the Catholic, yeah. So if they are vulgar language of calling someone a Christianus actually means a poor fellow, then who oh, unto you? And they are the ones controlling most most Christians most denominations of Christianity. Like for instance, just look at the Pope tried to connect all the religions and they all came together. So join the dots. Christianity might mean a poor fellow. Eh? This one this one is actually one of the videos I found that is not specifically or the other ones are saying the same thing like i went on google and not even google not google alone even some other these other denominations like astrotheology they are saying the word christian is is an etymology of the root word christ which means christos and Christos means the anointed one or the anointing. And when you go deep into this rabbit hole, you are going to find that they are going to anoint people with an oil. And this oil is usually mixed with some things that have been made illegal in most countries. So you, you look at that and you start wondering, why do, do they all agree to that and not... This one video, actually the video you have just watched is from nine years ago. So that is what, what Christianity is. So to follow up with the question, when, when did Christianity first occur or something? So the same, same video, I'm not going to say Christianity occurred in the people because even for me, for my people in Africa, like the Agekoyo, Christianity was brought to us and it's not like we didn't know what they are teaching. They just imposed their teachings on us and we had even more information than them. Yes, because I can I can read and I can understand what my the previous others from my tribes wrote and I can see that the Christianity they brought to us is for programming. It's not the spirituality we really had. Yeah, so Christianity originated in the Bible. That's why they will always tell you, read the Bible. Why don't they tell you, read the Vedas? Eh? Why don't they tell you, read the Nagamadi texts? Why? Because you will come to find out that Christianity is a totally different subject from reality or from truth. So, in this channel, we are Rastas or we are seekers of knowledge. We are the seeds. We are the seeds of the sun or the star seeds. Yeah. So this video is, is going to, to show that. It's a long video. You can go watch it. Link in the description below. 
can go watch the video for yourself, do do more research into it. But I want to go to the part where he says uh, there has been three networks, three occurrences of the word Christian in the Bible, and the first one is in Acts, as you can see, Acts 11, 25-26, and it says, Barnabas in brackets, went to Tarsus to hunt for Saul. So he went to hunt, like, we, we, know, we all know what hunting is, so he went to hunt. And when he had found him, he brought him back to Antioch. So he went, hunted, took him and brought him back to Antioch. It was not a <laughs> hunting. You don't go and take the animal and bring it back home. You have to wound the animal. So you have to understand what happened here. It was actually, they were see, it was a siege. It was siege. Yeah? So, Saul, Saul was caught. Mm -hmm. And when he found him, brought him back to Antioch for a whole year. They assembled together with and were guests of the church and instructed a large number of people. And in Antioch, the disciples were first called Christians. So it is not the disciples who said they were Christians, but it is actually those who hunt, hunted them down and claimed they were Christians. So that's one account. The second account, I think is still in in Acts, uh, in Acts chapter 26, verse 28, then Agrippa said to Paul, you think it's a small task to make a Christian of me, just offhand, to induce me with the little I do and persuasion at a very short notice. So, this guy is already resistance for this Christian thing, or you think you can make me stupid. You think you can make me a foolish person. Eh? That's what this guy is saying. But it's good for you to read things in context. So go read, read more about this. Go research. Just trying to answer the, the, the comments. Uh -huh. So the third part is in Peter. And in Peter, it's saying, But if one is ill-treated and suffers, yes, I am raining on you. Na spit. As a Christian, which he is contemptuously called, let him not be ashamed, but give glory to God that he is deemed worthy to suffer in this name. So context, context is, is a good thing. And these situations, the New Testament, don't really like the New Testament. I'm going to be blunt about it. But mostly what he has cited is from the New Testament. Ah, yeah. Now it's time for my opinion. So what I think about this thing is from what they have generally agreed that Christianity is an anointing with the oil, eh? Christos. For me as a biologist, I know that my body is made of water mostly. And since it's made of water, you have to think about it. What happens when you add oil on water? Let's say, let's put it into, into reality circumstances. Eh? There is a large oil spill. So this large oil spill in the ocean, what does it do? What are the consequences? First things first, limited sunlight penetration into the water. Uh -huh. So they have reduced sunlight. They have reduced... Uh, the diffusion of oxygen. So they are depriving these aquatic animals living underneath of their nutrients. So when they tell me that I should get the anointing or raise my oil, it is actually so sinister because from my biology, it's not even an oil. It is a water-like substance that is full of salts, like it's water enriched with nutrients. That is what the CSF fluid is. And they claim it is an oil and you have to raise it. And when you pour oil on water, crazy things happen. So what happens when you pour oil onto yourself? 
probably they are telling you to rise it and place it in your head, right? This is going to actually make you stupid from the analogy that I have just given because you are going to be deprived of a lot and you are not going to be you yourself because we were born knowing but we have been confused by most knowledge out here most of the things we meet they are actually most they are actually pertaining to the body and you have to know the spirit before you can know the body and the spirit is something totally different you have to understand electricity that's what i mean before you can understand magnetism then you can mix them both and find out the reality of your true self so that's what i think i hope i have answered your question and where did it first originate that is the term christianity where it first originated and uh, what was your your other question i think i have, I have answered it when did it come about so it came about a long time ago but i know it a sect of christianity now i'm going to get into a very big story so let's do that in a second part so watch part 2 to, to understand the next the next when did it come about the next part of the question